Welcome back to the channel, guys. We're gonna be doing another disc review. So MVP is releasing a lot of new discs and they're releasing old discs in new plastic. So I'm gonna review this one because this is one of my favorite discs is the Crave. And they're coming out in the fission plastic, the new fission plastic feels awesome. I know that they had that second generation where it was like hard and slippery. This is tacky and it's flexible and I love it. They really did a great job on this third generation fission. Um, here are the numbers. Cool. And uh, let's get out to a field. We're going to compare it to, I have a few other craves. There's the, I have a new Neutron crave that they have. I think Neutron Cosmic. We're going to throw that one. We're going to throw an old Plasma one. Um, and we're going to see how they compare. So let's get out there. I think all these Fission ones, they're really below 170. So this is 167. Um, we have a couple other ones, 166, I believe this one is. So they're 165 to 168, somewhere in between there. Let's see how they do it. Let's do it. Let's go. Come on. F follow me. Let's go. Hey guys, this video is sponsored by Disc Golf Revolution. If you are looking for disc golf apparel that doesn't cost you $30 to $50 a pop, check out this website. Scroll through their selection. They have stuff for $15 to $25. And if you use my code, DBW15, you can get 15% off your purchase. The other thing you can do if you want to help support me, they have been putting out my stamp on a shirt. So go ahead and pick that up. The link will be in the description. Thank you, Disc Golf Revolution, and thank you guys for tuning in. Please check right, it out. We're doing our first test with the Fission Crave. So I got two of those, and I'm gonna be comparing it to the Neutron Cosmic. My theory with this is the Neutron Cosmic has always been a little bit more stable, so that's what it's gonna be. Um, but these should just be pretty much straight flyers. These are a little bit lighter weight, 167, 165. This is 171. Again, there's no wind. And I'm really just trying to throw them nice and flat and straight. Start with the 167 fishing frame. Has a little stability to it. It got there quick though. I'm gonna put this a little bit more to the right. Uh, and maybe on just a tiny Anheuser, see how it fights out of it. Definitely fought at the end, but that was a 165, so it held pretty good. I'm gonna compare it to the Neutron Cosmic. I'm gonna try and get this one flat out to the right a little bit. I actually feel like they're pretty similar. I think it's really, do you, what plastic do you prefer? And if you like the lighter weight stuff, go with the Fission. All right, on to the next hole, downhill. All right, Fission Crave, downhill. This basket's about 400 feet. I don't expect to reach it. Um, we do have a little bit of a right to left wind, just a tad bit. I'm gonna try to go one flat, one hyzer, one anhyzer. turned over a bit too much. The right to left wing kind of got a hold of it. I'm gonna throw this one on a hyzer, see how it works. Uh, held the hyzer nice. I'm gonna compare that exact shot to the Cosmic Neutron one. Um. All right, we 
we've got an uphill hole. I'm just gonna try and put a little anhyzer through this gap right here. See how it works the flex out if it does it all. Yeah, held the line and just slowly flexed out through it. You're gonna try to do the same exact thing with the Cosmic. I'm surprised by this, but I think the Fission, even though it's lighter, either has the same stability or a little bit more. Um, I'm gonna try this one on a flick just to see how it does. Flipped up and rode straight uphill, so it's gonna keep that stability. I don't know, seems effortless. All right, we're on the big downhill hole with the Fission Crave going to try and crank these on Anheuser's and try to have them glide out, see how they hold. It kinda, I kind of cranked on a little bit too much. It didn't hold so great. Um, I might uh, give this one a little bit more air. for a power Anheuser. Um, that's how we learn. Moving on. Really uphill hole. Fission Crave 167, as you know. Just nice and straight, see if they can handle it. If you throw it flat with power, it's going to ride to the right. So put a little bit of hyzer on this one. up a bit just holds and goes all right you guys got to see some of the version flights out of these lightweight fission craves 167 165 as i've been saying the entire time okay so i feel bad because i don't feel like i got the greatest throws off with these i got some good ones but most i would say maybe a little less than half the time or half the time i either put it too flat or on too much of an anheuser and it just kind of held and it didn't fight out of it. I didn't really give it a chance on some of the shots to get its full flight. Uh, that being said, I still liked how it flew when I did throw it on a hyzer or up a hill and gave it time to ride uh, that hyzer flip or just flip and then hyzer out. And surprisingly, when I did that, uh, put it on this uh, hyzer, it was decently stable for being 165, you know, being sub 170. Compared to the Cosmic uh, Neutron Crave, I feel like these had more fight back. And that would make sense because the whole concept of this is to get more gyro in the outside. So this plastic is just as dense, but the fission is lighter, right? This density of this core plastic is lighter than the Cosmic is, right? So. If, for those of you who don't know, what the gyro effect does is once you get the disc up to speed and you have the rotations, the rotations is huge when it comes to uh, the flight and the glide of these discs, it will hold that line longer, okay? But when the disc slows down and it starts to tilt, so let's say it's coming out of its flight, starting to hyzer out, starts to tilt. Once it runs out of speed and spin, it tilts faster than a normal disc, right? It's all relative. It tilts faster than a standard uh, single mold disc, right? So if you, if you have even more weight on the outside than normal, it'll tip faster. So that would make sense that 
this would fight back a little bit better than the Cosmic Crave would. I think it's what they were going for, and I think that they did a great job with it. These discs are, I love the new Fission Plastic. It's nice and tacky, uh, has a really good feel to it, and you should just go to a store and feel it for yourself. If you were turned off by the old Fission Plastic, it's not like that anymore. It, the old Fission Plastic, I agree, it was not good. It was, it was, it just wasn't good. It was hard, stiff, it, you know, it was kind of slick sometimes. Um, slickness mostly has to do with the humidity in the air and what your surroundings are and how, you know, what's on your fingers and stuff like that. So I usually don't like using, you know, this disc is slippery, but there was something about that plastic that wasn't good, but they killed it with this. They went back to the drawing board. They got this new plastic and it's awesome. So you have to put your hands on it to try it. Uh, would I bag it? Not yet. I'm gonna say no. I wasn't able to get some that were max weight and something that is this slow, uh, that, that is not overstable. It's not meant to be overstable. It's neg one one. Um, it doesn't fight enough for me. I throw, I throw a little too hard um, for, it, for my feeling. I'd rather have it max weight. Uh, if I could get my hand on, hands on a max weight one, it would be in the rotation to work its way into my bag. But right now I like, I like the ones that I have in my bag. So uh, I do throw craves. I do really like them. Really good for woods golf, straight deadlines. So if you haven't tried a crave, I would highly recommend it. And we are going to give one away. So you made it to the end of the video. Congratulations and thank you. Um, please like, please subscribe. Here's, here's what you have to do to be entered into the giveaway. All you have to do is subscribe and comment in the video. So if you're watching this on Facebook, click on YouTube, go to the video on YouTube and leave a comment on YouTube. And that's all you have to do. And I'll pick a winner a week after this video is posted, okay? And all of the disc reviews I'm doing, I'm doing a batch of four, they all have giveaways. So if you, um, if you missed one already, that's okay. I'm, I'll be coming out with one more video after this. It's gonna be the one of my favorites, favorite new discs, the Neutron Ascend. So keep an eye out for that. It's gonna be dropped next week or a little bit before that. All right, thanks guys. Like and subscribe, thank you, see ya.